Yo guys, what's up? It's Cryption Gaming Jake here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about internet lag in Warrock and how it can be fixed on Papaya Play's end. Ultimately, the goal of this video is to help educate the players and the publishers on the current internet lag issues in Warrock and to convince Papaya Play to seriously consider adding a North American server to the game. Lag is a delay between the player and the server based off how far away the player is from the server. Believe it or not, everything you see another player do on Warrock is delayed to some extent. This is because when playing on a server, you are constantly sending and receiving messages, aka packets of data, to and from the server. Updating things such as your position on the game, whether you are firing your gun or not, whether you are crouched or not, etc. The current network structure of Warrock is a peer to server connection. A peer to server connection works a little something like this. Let's say we have 8 people in the same room. The peer, aka player, sends messages to the server. The server then processes that message and sends it to all other players in the room. Bear in mind this is happening all the time whilst playing in that room as you're constantly sending and updating your position on the map for other players to see. Now you can clearly see on this image um, what's wrong with this structure. Based on how far away the users are from the server is how delayed the game is going to be interpreted on their screens. This is easily tolerable if the players playing on the server live close to the server and have a stable internet connection. Then peer to server is good, in fact peer to server is really good. But for players that live far away from the server, not only are they having a bad gameplay experience for themselves, but they're also causing a bad gameplay experience for everyone else on the server, especially if those users are close to the server and having their gameplay disrupted. For example, an American player snipes someone normally on their screen on the Marion A cross. It looks fine on the American player's screen, however by the time that bullet registration reaches the server, that European player is now in bomb A and is dead. This gives the effect that the player was shot through the wall, which I'm sure we've all seen many times. Another example is a laggy player intentionally rushing around a wall and using the lag to their advantage to kill other players. Now this can really confuse other players, especially new players who expect the game to be in sync. Because it's not normal to have a lag advantage in games and it can really confuse people if you're rushing through a wall and you're able to see them before they see you and you start opening fire on them first. So what can we do to fix this problem? Well it's pretty simple to identify the problem. People shouldn't be connecting to a server that's too far away from them in the first place. When we log on the game right now, we only see one server, and that is located in Luxembourg which is right here, at the western part of Europe. Oh and just for curious people that are watching this video in the next on days, that second empty server is in the exact same place. Once the game moves to Papaya Play, an admin has already confirmed that the only server we are going to be getting is the same one server in western Europe once again which will practically be the same as what we already have. This is just not good enough, I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to also set up a server in North America too? That way all the North American players can connect to that server and play together and enjoy the experience of Warrock. The only problem is, Papaya Play on Nexon didn't see that as a smart business decision due to the lack of North American players in today's age. But what did happen to the North American player base anyway? What companies don't know is, sometime before Nexon, the previous publisher was a company called Gamers First, who hosted a range of servers for their players. This is what the server list looked like back in 2010. As you can see there are two NA servers, West and East, which together make up a large population of players. And on the very last page there was even an international server which players from any country could connect to. I actually wonder how many American players were playing in there too. And here's a screenshot of why American players started to quit. 
At some point, gamers first decide to remove all the servers and just have one international server, which is pretty much the same as what we have now. And of course, North American players suffered the most from this, as they lived the furthest away from the server. Setting up a server in North America would surely bring players back to the game. North American players have been begging for a server to play on ever since Nexon Europe took over the game in May 2012. Ever since that day, there has been a steady decline of not only North American players, but whole players in general. This is because, when you cram people from all over the world into one server, it's bound to get hectic and laggy and people just rage quit due to the lag issues. It wrecks everyone's gameplay experience. Setting up a server in North America is going to benefit North American and European players as European players will no longer have to deal with the lag that North American players bring to the European server. And I mean, Papaya might look at this video and they might say, well, you know, North America, there's not that many players from North America playing our game right now, but surely it's a good idea to cater to the smaller communities in your game, especially to such a large country as the United States. Doing this could attract so much more attention to the game. Well, it really does boil down to the question. A. Does Papaya Play want to continue to milk the game for its money while investing as little as possible into the game and its players, which is effectively the short term route? Or B. Are they in it for the long term and want to actually try and make the game grow into something great, which it easily could be? I mean, come on, let's be real. Which game have you guys found more addictive, Warrock or CSGO? There are so many elements about Warrock that make it so much more fun than any other first person shooter game. That deserves its own video all by itself. Now internet lag is just one of a few problems in Warrock, but I think it's one of the most fundamental problems in Warrock. And in that case, I think one of the fundamental problems with Warrock is the internet lag and delay. And the first step into fixing this problem is just by giving North Americans their own server. And you might think I'm being biased to North Americans, but the United States is undeniably a huge country. And who knows, maybe in the future we can even put a server in the east somewhere, seeing as how we have such a large player base of players from Israel and Turkey. In conclusion though, at the end of the day, this video is meaningless unless we come together as a community and show that this is something that we not only want, but something that is vital for Warrock survival. If you guys agree or disagree with this video, I want you to leave a vote in the straw poll. Link is in the description of the video. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments, and let me know what else you think needs to happen in order to make Warrock great again. Alright guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Peace.